Okay. Now we go for the stone wall on this edge, on this leading edge here. Or do we just start pumping out assassins? It'd be nice if I could build stuff faster. Maybe I go for the Master's Guild. So can I just, like, stand there? Is that, like, a thing I can do? This is where they killed Thanos. I will avenge you, brother. Okay. And my quest is... A traitor needs to be vanquished. His throne city must be taken. He must be defeated in combat. Then I need to take Reskar to the pool. So after I do all that, I take this guy to the pool and he sticks an egg in it. Okay. I could start pushing, really. I think I'm strong enough. I'm a little bit scared to do so, but... Good. It'd be nice if I had the assassin with me. What can I trade for an assassin? Yeah, okay. I'll move up here so that I can get there next turn. Take this crow back to keep an eye out. And... What can we do here then? Go back to trying to build the observatory, I guess. I'll move the assassin up so he has a bit more movement when I need it. And we have got some sneaky boys. I do that. This starts the combat. Okay. I guess... We're actually going to have a little confrontation here. So I put you here. And then they get attacked before I can react next turn. Bring the assassin with me. Yeah, the problem is the AI has faster reaction time, so he's just going to attack this. And then these guys will be outnumbered. So I can do this. Give them that extra little bit of power. And I was going to put the crows up there, but maybe I'll put them here. And let's see, what other sneaky things can he do? That's about it. But hopefully I'll be able to put... Maybe he'll be occupied somewhere else. I wouldn't count on it, but... That said, if his whole army is like here... What's at home? Ooh. Got a cannon, an evangelist, which means... He left his cannon at home. Okay. Hmm. If I put my crow like here... Maybe he wastes his... Clicking, attacking the crow. Now, it could be that he can't because I'm on water, or it could be that uh, he does it and then he gets both of them because, you know, the AI can just click instantly. But I can hope. I wonder if I could bring in reinforcements as well. How far can you guys get if I sent you in? You can get almost all the way. Brought them up to here. They'd lose in a... Mm. Okay, I'm just going to try to outclick him and hope for the best, I think. I don't think it'll work. Oh, wait, if I stay... If I put my crow here, that'll also give him... Yeah, that's the way to do it. Okay. I'll just try to outclick him. And we'll see what happens. So I think bring the assassin in, bring this up, and then attack from there. Unfortunately. And he does that. That is really annoying. No, I, oh, I pressed the wrong button. No, I don't think I'm doing much there. This is the annoying thing about simultaneous turns against the AI. Give me an assassin. Give me the assassin. Okay. He had a tricky plan of his own, it appears. <laughs> he kind of used that to escape from me. It's actually quite good. Okay. If I enter... Army's on the retreat. And I can just about... It wasn't for those mountains. If I abandon... Abandon you. I abandon you. Who else can I take with me? Oh, it's tempting. It's 
If I can hit him here, that'd be, that'd be good. I think I might be able to do it as well. You guys, you guys move back a step, basically. Nope, that was the exact, that was the wrong group. That's annoying. Well, so much for the assassination attempt, I guess. Unless the actual assassins can do it. I've got two of them. What's he have defending him? That's doable with two assassins. It's not ideal, but it's doable. Okay, so this entire army, plus these two, against Crusaders, which are quite good. Black Knights are quite good. He's still level 1. We've got full spell power. We can bring in the crows. Anyone else down here? Bring in another crow. I'm a little concerned about the Crusaders, but they don't have martyrs to back them up. So it would be 7 against 10, basically. I want to try it. Fight the misclick. You go up here. You guys can't join. You bring in a crow. You might be able to bring in three crows. Yeah, if we use a teleporter. And then, if my druid needs to fall back, we send these guys up to cover his retreat. Okay, we'll just do everything else. Can I get you in as well? No, not quite. Okay. But I could... Hang on, hang on. Let's hog in all my money. The observatory's got to go again. Oh, so does the laboratory. This is why rogues are the best. It lets you do all these really dumb things that shouldn't work. Is that an inn? So I'm going to... That's a trading post, not an inn. I would like to give him the shrine to the guardian angel. I think that's basically everything. And start you up. I think I can do this. All right. Here we go. He's not messing around. Trebuchet concerns me just for purposes of sniping, but I do have that rust ability, so... And these guys have decided to move completely out of position, which I'm all here, I'm all here for. Iron Heart, which heals and buffs. Quite good. We've got two assassins, which deadly force if I don't lose them to the Black Knights, basically. Uh, losing them to the Black Knights could be a problem. I might have to re make them retreat a little bit. I think I want you to hook up with everyone else. Same with you. And I can rust that, or I can... I cast a spell on the knights. Does that hurt me? I'm not sure. It does hurt me. Okay. Good to know. Knights are see, kind of annoying. Okay, you have Slayer of Everything, so I could send you in to more or less take those things out. Oh, not quite good enough. But you hear you're safe. Now, instant Wrath is... Kind of annoying.
Okay, I can net the knights with these guys. I think that's the play. Avoid from having to deal with them. They move up, so the assassin... Up. Work with what we got. Cast on the other group of knights as well. This would be annoying. Not very high odds of succeeding. And of course they're defending so I don't get the... Mm. Are really annoying. I'm gonna go harass his trebuchet. Hold those knights in position. Doesn't dispel anything. Neither of these dispel anything. Suppose my best bet is to use the assassin's quick dash. Sort of let that be what happens. That kills them. Yeah, so the assassins, I buffed their backstab, their assassin strike. Hurts me quite a bit. I could do that. And then what we do is we move you over here, and you over here, and we could Iron Heart, but we could also just dash. You kill the cherubs, or you can kill the cherubs. And it doesn't... Okay, this doesn't end my turn, I guess. Or did I did I already cast Quick Dash? I did. Okay. Never mind. It doesn't end my turn. Yeah, that would be kind of crazy if it didn't end my turn. So, Mischief Managed takes three action points. Really? Did it only take one? One second. I just looked at my notes. It's only supposed to cost one. And I, I just didn't get around to fixing that. So... That will be changed uh, very shortly, like after uh, this battle, <laughs> uh, because it's kind of weird if it doesn't work that way. My other assassins, I suppose it was costing three so I can't teleport into combat and then use the assassin strike. Hmm. But don't want them to be able to do that. I could make mischief manage um, potentially prevent you from using assassin strike or something like it could give you a debuff that stops assassin strike from working i think that's possible i'll have to maybe i won't change it right away because i have to think about it but it's it's kind of useless right now if it costs three for the most part maybe if you use assassin strike it allows you to use mischief manage that could be something yeah i'll have to think about it it's not an obvious fix i guess i'm just going to put you here to defend their flank Whoa, okay. He was not having it. I was not expecting a giant fireball to rain from the sky. Okay, we've got some annoying crusaders in my way. I can just... Uh, give them a bit of the razzle-dazzle. And then these orcs be able to do that. And then these 
elves. Be able to sprint and backstab these guys. Do them a little bit of harm. Put you there so that he can... I wouldn't want him to not have a target for his fireballs. Everyone's devout, and I didn't get devout slayer, did I? Kind of regretting that now. And you don't do so good against the cherubs. You just hang in there. I guess... Quick dash an assassin and just take out some... That's probably not a bad idea. While they have Warcry on. Because I don't think it goes away until the end of turn. Yeah. I can just have them annihilate those. I suppose if... Uh, ooh, they're, they're in bad shape. I should have... Should have paid attention to that. Because now they're going to die. I should have quick dashed them. Not the other guys. But what I could do is... Oh, right. There's a... I am so smart. <laughs> Oops. Oh, please don't die on me. Okay, I lost the assassin. That's all. That's fine. How much spell power does this guy have? Man, he just keeps going and going. And I can't reuse that. So I'll send in... I'll send in the longbows. Take down the cherubs. These guys, I would love... a chance against those. I don't think that's happening. And try to finish Crusaders off with these guys. You want to work on them? You can be bait. They'll have you. Just finish them like that, I guess. And then there's more cherubs because he makes a full army devout, and I didn't choose the, uh, the other th the thing that makes armies not all devout. Uh, that makes you do bonus damage against devout armies. Okay. What did he dispel? Did he just dispel Warcry? Because that seems like a bit of a waste. But if he wants to do it, I'll take it. I wonder how many spells this guy has left, because he, he's really been casting. Send you in. He's leveled up from all his spell casting, even. Bring you up. And finish this thing off. Okay, what do you got? Fireball? Oh, just a heavy crossbow, apparently. Wow. That hurt. Um, don't mind me. What do we got? We have 13 or 13. Okay. I, I was going to say I also have a crossbow, but I'm not going to use it. Do that and you die. It's probably not what we want. We'll give you, give you a little spin, and another spin, and then I walk here, should finish you off. And he also, oh, come on. These orcs also have Hero Slayer, right? Uh, sorry, not orcs, um, assassins. Maybe they get it when they... Hmm. 
Maybe they just don't have it. Okay. Feels like they should. Maybe they get it at a different time. Okay, and now the nice thing about this, hopefully, if I've done this right, Is the game crashes? I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, there we go. Okay. We're all good. Okay, so we lost a scoundrel and an assassin, unfortunately. We killed Gamblag. And yeah, the nice thing about this is, even though these, his army was bigger than what I fought, now there's only two of them. And they have to deal with everything I've got here. Now what he could do, and what he's probably going to do, is send his cannons around and mess me up. So I'm going to have to keep an eye out for that. But you now that'll come as it comes. To deal with that cannon, I might even want to buff my druider yet again. To befriend animal wouldn't be terrible. Mountaineering to get over the mountain and get out of here. Yeah, I think, I think more druidery. And then just more keeping him alive. Yeah, I'm going to have to retreat as soon as I can. And unfortunately what's going to happen is he's going to stunlock me with his, uh, with his constant attacking me before I can react. So I'm going to use the shortcut, control enter, in order to end my turn and then get out of here as fast as possible. Just to there. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Move with right click. And here we go. Okay, we're safe. Okay, and let's get these out of here. Oh, he's done his turn. Okay, good. I'm going to grab that before I forget. And for the front line, I'll, I'll have a planar gate. And I guess we're getting close to Gambling's capital. It's defended with strong stone wall. I had some siege engines built. I hope they'll be of use to you. Well, thanks. Thank you. These siege engines will provide useful. If Gambleg thinks the city is safe behind those walls, he is mistaken. We have many options of dealing with them. Griffin riders can simply fly over the walls and unicorns can phase past them. Infantry, like our swordsmen, can use ladders to scale the walls, though they'll be more vulnerable while climbing. Yeah, unicorns and griffins. Yeah. Yeah, I got a lot of those. I think I was supposed to take this city first and... There we go. We've got a small army, which I guess I can... Up here. Okay, so now we have an army. And he leaves home to defeat me. I'm ready for him. And I'm going to wrap it up here. Just now that everything's moved in such a way that... Um, I'm not actually... Okay, one second. There. I'm going to wrap it up here. So I won't instantly lose when I come back and I've got an idea of what I'm doing. And I think I came back from that pretty well. It looks... Uh, yeah, he's only got... What, three? Two cities left? Three? Two cities left. He's on the defense. I've got a couple assassins ready for him. And yeah. Alright. That's that. Save the old campaign. Despite my mistakes, I made it this far. Alright. See ya.